Greetings, but I know how old is this? Hi, hey, hey, hey. How you all doing? I don't normally do lives in this group. Very, very, very sporadically do I do a live in this group. Um, this group is not about me per se, so I do share a lot of other people's stuff in here. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this wonderful weather. Um, I just wanted to just sort of show some gratitude more than anything in this particular group to say thank you for those of you who join those of you who share um your thoughts your energy um and your posts in here it's really appreciated i get a lot of um upliftment and inspiration and motivation from so much of you so that's why i like to ping stuff in here i've got such varied interests as well so you will see that there's some funny stuff some serious stuff some business stuff some health stuff, you know, fashion, clothing, all sorts of things, all my little interests, basically. And I'm hoping that, you know, some of you resonate and, you know, contribute as well. But my main reason for starting this group, I'll be honest with you, is that this time last year, I was working in the care industry um, for an agency and I was doing crazy, crazy hours. I'm talking starting work at half seven in the morning finishing at like 10, 11 at night, um, 14, 15 hour shifts, um, looking after the elderly in various walks of life, whether it was a physical disability, a learning difficulty, you know, dementia, medication, feeding, cooking, cleaning, taking them out, hospital appointments. And on the inside, I was actually quite ill at the time. I was suffering with um, a small benign brain tumour, which is slowly going away, um, but also like really bad depression, like proper, proper, awful depression. I've been snappy, I've been angry, I've had suicidal thoughts. Um, I'm not even going to say that I attempted, um, but I did in, 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 in the realism, not in a way that a lot of people would think, but I'm not going to promote or say what how I actually thought about ending my life and throughout all this time having two jobs multiple jobs playing x amount of tax i'm thinking to myself how is it that so you feel penalized by society to a certain extent because you've got yourself into a financial predicament you want to do everything you can as quickly as you can to get yourself out of it and sometimes it does require having multiple jobs but then you're taxed so heavily, so heavily, it, ma it doesn't make it feel worthwhile having a second job, a second just over broke. That inspired me to then start my own business and I got involved in network marketing. And on the back of that, so much self-development, so much learning, so much confidence that I found in myself, seeking my own potential, um, real, real, you know, getting to certain like goals, and going, wow, I didn't ever think I'd be able to accomplish certain things. So I encourage and inspire others more so than anything to dig deep, find what really makes you happy. I mean, if your job, your nine to five, your career, if you have a career more than anything and it's filling your passion and you love what it is you do, I admire you. I always wanted to teach. I went to university originally to become a teacher or to learn how to be an official teacher at PCG, but I think we're all teachers and educators in our own way. Um, I didn't quite finish university for various reasons. Um, that's on my YouTube <laughs> page if anyone wants to know what happened there. <laughs> but for the last few months, I sacrificed the hours that I worked for somebody else in regards to the job. I still do have a job. I work as a key worker or essential worker, depending on how you look at it. I deliver medication from my local pharmacy to the residents in their homes. And throughout this whole lockdown, a lot of them have said, you know, how grateful they are to see somebody and how friendly I am and that sort of thing. So I get fulfillment from what it is I do in a different way now. But working three days a week has allowed me to really look at myself what am i doing for me how have i invested in myself am i investing in me so i got a letter from the tax man to say lo and behold <laughs> you've paid too much tax and what i don't understand is is that 
I've had issues where I've had to have um, a joint universal credit claim, for example, and I've been on a low income and my income has had to support two people. So they allocate you a certain amount of money from what it is you tell them that you're bringing in. And then a year and a half later, I got a letter from the same universal credit top up people to say that the money that they had given us to help us survive was too much. We wasn't eligible for it and they want it back. So I'm not understanding how they give with one hand and then they take away with the other. And it's frustrated me for a really long time. So this morning I'm sitting in my home. Thank you to the Mom Project who um, supported me in getting the keys, um, should we say. And a letter came through my door this morning. I don't get many letters because a lot of things are paperless, basically. Thank you for those of you who have joined and watched and who take part. And this arrived, a cheque from the tax man to say, yeah, we penalised you for the last few years. And here's a little something back. So my lessons in life are teaching me that sometimes patience and having those goals, dreams and aspirations, it might take me longer to get to where it is that I'm going. But when you know something ain't right, speak out. When you know that there's something on one of your statements or a bill that doesn't look quite, quite right, query it. Query, query, query. It's your funds. You're the one who's earning it. You should know where it goes. Don't allow anyone to take what it is that you work so hard for, especially when it comes to your income and looking after your family and your home. So I just wanna express my gratitude for my patience and say thank you to all those sleepless nights that I had, all that crying, wondering why, why I was doing all these horrible jobs. And a year later, I've realized that I can invest in myself so this little check that they've sent, I'm very much grateful for it because I earned that back myself. So just keep on top of things is what it is that I say. Always read the small print because it might save you loads and loads of money or you know a direct debit that's been set up incorrectly, all sorts of things. So please, all I ask, on this glorious day, I know it's supposed to be fun Friday and funny Friday and freaky Friday and filter Friday, but I wanted to talk about funds on a Friday. Just a different F. <laughs> so like I said, thank you. Gratitude is my new attitude. If I think that I am abundant, therefore I am. It does work. We work, then it works if that makes sense. It works for us. So keep at it. You might have bad days, you might have bad moments, but think of the solutions. Think of your biggest why. Why are you actually doing it? Is it fulfilling your dreams, goals and your purpose? Is it giving you life? Is it feeding you with, just not even just positive energy, is it feeding you with energy? Because if it's negative, you need to do something about it. But if it's positive, then do more of that. So this is... The success, yard foods, it really is. Giving myself time. So I'm about to go out and I'm gonna distribute some flyers. I'm gonna, actually, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick, stay there, stay there, stay there. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't really prepared, but look at that. This is how much I believe in myself, okay? So I got my flyers printed and I'm now gonna take a section of them and I'm gonna go out and go for a walk in this beautiful, beautiful weather. I'm also going to the post office to go and post a signed copy of my book and a few little treats and goodies in there. So if you'd like a copy of the Life in a Lockdown 2020 Behind Closed Doors, I'm one of 22 women who have co-authored and contributed to what well, seems to be a really interesting book. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna to nip to the bank, which is next door and deposit that. And then I'm gonna take myself and do something for me. So I'm gonna get my Vit D. I'm gonna go and meet some people in the community, socially distancing, of course. Um, but I'm gonna put a few of these for a few letterboxes. 
I'm not going to push myself too much, but I'm going to believe in myself that whatever orders come through, I will be able to manage. I will cope. I will find a solution and potentially even create some employment for somebody to actually help. That would be really all to help with deliveries. That would be amazing. So that's the two things on my list at the moment for me personally is to get some more customers in. Don't be scared. I'm registered. I'm legit. I've got my qualifications and it doesn't need qualifications, by the way, but I did it for me to prove to myself that I could actually still learn and accomplish something. So I've got my catering and hygiene certificates, which again came from the care industry, but now I'm waffling. <laughs> so whatever it is that is really in your heart, just give it a try. That's what I've realised. If I didn't give it a try, I wouldn't know. Try failing, you know, but don't fail to try. Yeah, because each time you fail, you can get back up, you've learned something. And then you can go again. One love, people. Rastafari. Namaste. And Eid Mubarak. Happy Eid to um, my Muslim brothers and sisters. Peace and love, peeps. That's all we ask. Peace and love.